Hey guys, Bing here. Um, I saw this image. The wall cladding looks quite interesting. Let's model this. So this this is what I have. So okay, so let's, let's start. So first, uh, create a new family. Curtain panel pattern base, and select this uh, pattern grid pattern grids and change it to uh, hexagon okay so and I think should be this way um, now let's I'll select this grid and I'll roughly change this to maybe 300 by 300 and then I'll change the scale to maybe 1 to 10 okay Oops. so now we we need to because um, if you look at this image so that the top one will cover the bottom one so which means um, we need to off create create some point offset from these adaptive points so I assume this is the top one so I'll just do point Draw a work plan, set work plan, pick the this work plan, place it on this point, and then I'm going to move this up. So another one, point, set work plan, pick on this one, and this one move up as well, and also repeat. This one, drag this up, another one. So this one would drag the other way so ne negative same this one negative oops wrong one set work plan pick work plan place it and go the other way so now we need to create a parameter so this one is offset I'll create a offset I'll just call it offset one okay so instance uh, maybe tired. Okay, okay. So this is offset one, which means this one will be negative offset one. So I'll create a new one offset one negative. Type is okay. Okay, family type offset one negative equals negative offset one. Now this one, this will be offset two. So O F two. Um, OF2 type okay and okay this one's OF2 as well so oh sorry not create create OF2 okay and then this one this one will be OF2 negative so create a new one of F2 negative and okay and okay this one will be offset 2 as negative as well and then we need to uh, work out what the offset to um, uh, sorry the relationship between the offset one and offset two so if we look at this so from assume this center point center point so if this is a phase and this point will be zero so it will be uh, offset the offset of in this location will be zero and then so from here to here that's if this is one and then from here to here is two so which means so this one for example if if this offset equals uh, 30 let, let's say if offset one equals 30 and then offset two will be uh, one third of third uh, 30 so which means I'll just do offset two equals uh, sorry, um, offset one divided by three. Apply. So and then offset two negative equal. Uh, yeah. Offset one. So we offset two equals offset two divided by three. All right. Oh, no 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 <laughs> offset 
offset one negative equals negative offset one, offset two equals offset uh, negative offset two. Sorry. So um, yeah, all one two three is all good with the formula, and then this one's the one we control. So thirty, thirty will be the the thickness of this panel. So let's now I'll um, I'll temporarily hide all these adaptive points and also the grid H H and also this reference line H H. So we now have these uh, six points. I just create a spline, then check the reference line. So This one. So now we have this these six uh, reference line and create form solid, and then we just need to here put. Now I, I can just type hr. So we have all these um, all these uh, adaptive points and the grid. So now click select this solid, and then here. Because we want it to, let me check. I'll try this one to link to offset one. So looks like good. Okay, so I think that's it. And then if you want to, you can add a material, but I'll just leave it. So now create. Let's go. I'll just create a project, and I'm going to just. Uh, some wall and go to 3D view. I do a roof, pick wall, uncheck the slope, check, make sure it's external. Okay, attach. Now we have this wall, so I'm going to place these um, the here. Okay, so go model in place, mass. Okay, and then set work plan first. Set this on this face of this wall, and then I'll just do some reference line and pick line. So one, two, three, four, five, and then so they are there. Just need to trim them. Trim them. Okay, so once trimmed, so they are all connect, and then uh, you can select it and create form. So this time, just face. So now you can select this face and divide surface. And uh, oh, it's interesting. This um, maybe I need to rotate it. Mm. Hang on, let me try. Uh, maybe uh, 10, 20 degree. Maybe 30. Oh, yep. Yeah. So it looks like a. Uh, it's. Uh, it's parallel to some of the roof because I believe the default uh, slope of the roof is 30 degrees. So anyway, that's that's good. So I'll just uh, change this uh, fixed distance. Maybe I'll, I'll use yeah, just fixed distance is fine. Maybe I'll use maybe 200. Okay, 200, and uh, change the pattern to a uh, hexagon. And uh, looks like we need to rotate it again. So 90 degree plus 30 is 120. Okay, good. And then I'll just need to go back here, load it into project, and let's go to 3D again. Select this face and uh, change it to this family too. So now, if you zoom in, so you can see. So. It's like uh, some tile, so um, yeah, I think it's it's it, it will be uh, useful if you want to try to make your uh, render mm, looks nicer. So, but uh, if it's a a real project, I I I won't I do, I do not recommend. Okay, so you can still change your size if you want to, and also you can. If you tab select one, you can delete them. So you can just create some uh, pattern if you want. 
something like that. Yeah, oops, control Z. Okay, so that's it. Um, yeah, it's quite simple, quite easy. Uh, okay, so that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.